What's up everybody, we're back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my 20 litre tank in the kitchen. Pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear it down and we're gonna put all the plants into a new tank. Before we go ahead with that, let me know that you guys are enjoying my videos by liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at what has been going on. As you can see, this tank looks absolutely horrid. And that is very much my fault. I've gone I've gone months without really doing any maintenance on this tank. And the reason for that is just because the water keeps on evaporating out and it it's such a pain in the butt to replace. I've got other tanks to look after and because this didn't really have any live fish in it, I kind of just let it uh, let it become rubbish essentially. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out all these plants, um, divide up what's living and what's not, throw away all the rubbish, and take out all the substrate, and I'm going to move it into a new tank. And that tank is this. Um, I got it a couple of months ago from somebody down in Slough. They basically didn't have room for the tank anymore, and I just it was a free tank, basically... Um, my, my dad wanted a tank and I saw this ad online. I didn't realize how big it was at the time because he wasn't looking for a tank this big. So I went ahead and picked it up, um, but they didn't need it, so I kept it. And now I'm pretty much going to scape this, put the plants in here. And the main thing is, it comes with a lid. So there won't be any evaporation. And I won't have to worry about doing any maintenance on this tank. All this tank essentially is going to be is my planted tank where I'm going to be growing out my plants um, and using them for other tanks and whatnot. This way, I don't really have to worry. I might add in some small fish eventually just to help um, just to help keep the nutrient cycle going. But it's not really going to be a fish tank, fish tank for the moment. At the moment, it's purely going to be a planted aquarium, and that's pretty much what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm going to just quickly. Take all the stuff out of that tank that looks horrible and move it into here and hopefully things will start to look a lot better. So, yeah. All right, so as you can see, the tank is just a whole mess. I managed to go ahead and get out most of the plants. I also noticed there are a couple of shrimp that are still alive in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those out and I'm gonna transfer them to the new tank that they're gonna go into. But let's quickly take a look at some of the plants that are still alive um, and kind of explain to you why I wanna just do a planted tank, essentially. So here we can see we've got some Anubias. We've got some different variations of Anubias. We have Plants that I cannot remember the name of, but I will go back into my videos and um, go ahead and stick them on the screen for you to see. We've got some jungle val, and we've also got some moss balls, and we've got some grass, essentially, literally just like three strands of grass. But what I'm gonna, why I want to keep these is because I've got turtles, um, as you've seen. There they are. And oh, I spooked him. Sorry. And that turtle that you actually saw swim away, um, he eats or she eats the plants in this tank. So as you can see, they've been nipped at, not doing too well. There's also some floating plants on top that also get eaten by this turtle. And essentially, what I'm trying to do is just grow out some food for it, and I can just chuck these plants in when I've um, when they've propagated enough, and then obviously the turtle can go ahead and eat them. And this way, I'm giving them. A sort of natural diet as well as just helping the tank take out as much of the waste that's produced by the turtles as possible. So with that all said and done I'm gonna go ahead and like I've said take the shrimp out of that aquarium, um, put them in a little tub for the time being whilst I set up the new aquarium. I'm trying to get rid of all the pond weed that has been growing in these tanks because pond weed pretty much covers the entire surface and they're great at removing waste from the water but they're also a massive pain in the rear end because it takes so much effort to try and scoop them all out. And on top of that, they block out a lot of the light and they 
they kind of obstruct the view of the tank. So what I'm going to go, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take some of the water lettuce that's been growing in the turtle tank that they haven't managed to eat yet. I'm going to put it in the new tank because they do the same thing. They grow bigger, which means that they're easier to take out. So you can take out like 10 or 15 of them at a time and you've pretty much cleared the entire top of your surface of your tank. Whereas taking out 10 or 15 leaves of pond weed uh, is, is very minimal. Like you can scoop your hand and you can get probably like 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And then I'm gonna also move the substrate that's in here, give it a quick rinse and then move it into the new tank. So I'll catch up with you once I've done all of that. And then we'll start planting the, the new plants or the old plants into the new aquarium. I'm also gonna rinse them out because they've also got some pond weed on them. So I'm gonna try and clear all of that off as quickly as I can. And like I said, I'll pick up the camera when I've done all that. What's up everybody, we are back. We've gone ahead and rinsed out the aquarium soil. We've gone ahead and rinsed off all the plants. Now we're ready to start planting. So we're gonna go ahead and set you guys down and plant. So basically what we're gonna do is taller plants in the back, shorter plants in the front, and it's just a basic setup. See you guys in a sec. Alrighty, and we are back. As you can see, the water has cleared up, all the plants are in place. Uh, I had to do a bit of reshuffling because when I was filling up the aquarium, some of the plants did come loose. As you can see, it's not exactly the best job in the world, especially down here. It's just dead roots, garbage, essentially. Um, even this plant's kind of dying, but we're gonna see, we're gonna try and recover them. I added in some Monte Carlo. I went and bought that from the shop the other day, one, two, and three at the back. Um, it's a carpeting plant, so hopefully it'll add a lot of color. As you can see, the little uh, where is it? The little shrimp is there. Uh, we had a second shrimp. I don't know where he's gone. Was she um, somewhere in the tank? I mean, it might have jumped out because that did happen the first day I put them in, and I actually found it on the floor over there. <laughs> Excuse me, jumper just came out the shower. Uh, so I went ahead and put it back in the tank, but don't know if it's still in there. I did see it yesterday. So, anyways, uh, if you can see up at the top, there are some floating plants. What I want to do, and this will be done in another video, is I'm going to go ahead and build a surface skimmer. I'm going to show you how to build that if you guys are interested. It's all over the internet. This is not my original sort of build. It's going to be something from the King of DIY. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and build that in the next video next video, the video after next, and I'm gonna show you how I built that and pretty much just get rid of all this gunk on the surface because this is not what I want in the this aquarium. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. That's just a quick upgrade of this tank. It's a lot bigger, it's a lot nicer. And at the moment there's no filters or anything running and we are dosing this tank with CO2 to help revitalize the plants. Um, there are a lot of plants in here, there are not that many uh, fish or anything it's literally just two tiny shrimp so in terms of oxygen concentration I'm not particularly worried because obviously the plants release oxygen and these guys don't produce too much carbon dioxide so they're not going to be killed by a small oh, there's there's the other shrimp he's underneath don't know if you guys can see it he's just under there under the white little filter box so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do an update in maybe a couple of months after I've done the surface skimming video just to see how these guys have grown, if these guys recover uh, and just an oh, because we want these plants, these tall plants at the back to kind of take off and cover the whole back and all that good stuff and maybe um, spread because these are runners so these can spread throughout the tank and give it very jungle-ish vibe. And hopefully this will fill out and it'll look more planted. And like I said, this is mainly just with the turtles then I can, you know, snip some of these and throw them in the turtle tank for them to eat and enjoy. Uh, because they're eating all the plants in that tank and obviously I can't really <laughs> keep them alive if they're doing that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Just let me know that you are enjoying my videos. And as always, peace out.